Good morning, guys. I know it's been a minute. I have not been on YouTube. I have not been on Instagram, Twitter. I, I switched off all my um, platforms. Wait. <laughs> My name is Wendy, aka Mama Dina, and I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle, and a lot of things that I, whatever I feel like talking about, honestly. And um, my voice is hoarse and my face looks like this because I literally just woke up. It's around 9 a.m. on Sunday, and not 9 10, because <laughs> um, I just finished exams on Saturday, and um, it's been crazy. So um, I just woke up, made my bed changed into gym i don't know if you guys can guess that um why because sundays we always have basketball training and i think i've just had the coach's car driving past so i think i'm in car and we're about to start being shouted at because guess what we've always been so lazy we want this but then we don't <laughs> children children are just confusing and we do it as a family like parents inclusive so we all train um every sunday and i love it and today we're gonna talk about my channel but before that let me just go have breakfast like real quick because mimi say you want to work out without eating because mimi <laughs> cannot i can't and it's like two hour training so it's really intense and really exhausting so i need to put something in my tummy before that meanwhile my sister and brother i need to just wake them up because whoops okay now let's let's go try check out tv Devin, um, I'm Aya. Hey, 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 Hey guys, I know you're wondering how did that work out go? We did not work out. Um, we didn't work out because um because what? So apparently my parents did not call the um let me just put you guys here. Better lighting, I believe. I pray so. I did. Yeah, so my my dad, my mom was like, um, let's not train today. It's the first time we've not trained since we started. This is like three, four months into it. And it will just happened to be the one of those days where I was psyched up to work out. But you know what, it's fine. So we're actually going for lunch. And I'm just preparing myself. The kids are ready. My mom washed them today. And Annie's dressing them up. I chose clothes. Oops, I haven't shaved, but guess what? I will later. So um, I just washed my face with turmeric soap. I just want to um, tone it and then put a little bit of makeup. No foundation today because this is going to be a short lunch and yeah so yeah, maybe you guys can stay with me while i do that and then um as i dress up as well i'm getting myself here <laughs> and i'm like how do i look <laughs> but anyway yeah so let's um let's just dress up as we probably have a conversation i don't know let's just see how it goes you know let me get my makeup Yes, I think this is okay for now. So I just washed my face and I want to what do I want to do to tone it. Before I put my makeup, uh, before I put my makeup, before I put my makeup. So yeah, I've been away for a while, maybe um two weeks now. I went off for two weeks, uh, no radio, no social media, no Instagram. No Twitter, no, no YouTube. I've been off completely, so don't worry, it's not YouTube I've neglected. And um, actually, it was first of all, I was becoming pretty overwhelmed. And then, um, despite the fact that I was very, very much overwhelmed, I actually um, felt as if what did I feel? 
To be very honest, I was very overwhelmed and I was comparing my growth process and everyone else's process. I'm like, this person is doing so much better than me, this person. And I like, just told myself, you know what, for once, give yourself a break and not be in, like, on social media completely. Just don't be online, just um, focus on you and uh, not do anything else. So this is actually like some aloe vera gel that's also then doubled up as a primer, I believe. I think I just use it. My mom bought it, so 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 far it's not done anything bad to my skin. I've been using it for a while now, and my skin is not reacting badly, so I might as well do it, use it mm. until she comes and finds it <laughs> and she takes it back. But anyway, yeah. So um. What was I saying? Yeah, so um, I'm saying that I decided to just take time off to focus more on uh, myself, my craft, and also exams. I had exams last week. So I was giving myself a week to study and a week to do the exam. And thankfully, people around me were very understanding. Okay, people didn't even know I went offline actually. So it's just when I say people around me, I went like my boss. From Ali Radio, you know, I had to just explain to him, you know, I'm feeling overwhelmed. Yes? Nana, you go to Chini. Eh. I don't know if it's a sweet, like the extra product I get from it. So, these things, like the. Like this one is this aloe vera. I use it on my hair. <laughs> but yeah, so um, Nana's actually dressed and she's excited to leave. That's why she's running around and asking about G things she's asking about what she, what shoes she's gonna wear okay i'm just making sure let me tell you so i bought this um for a while i've not bought eye pencils because of because my mom had gone to dubai and then she came with like a whole bunch and then unfortunately zikaisha but they're not this ones, they're not easy. Zili is called a number. I don't know. They're just, they don't have numbers. So when Zilisha, it's called Siji Usha's. So when Zilisha, I decided to go buy, like Nini, and then I went and bought Siji number three. Without even, you know, I never, it bounced by is such a bad thing. Without even looking at like the shade or anything, I just did that. And then coming home, it's too light. Can draw my eyebrows for nothing even if i tried couldn't so i went and borrowed my sister's she barely uses she has bushy eyebrows so barely barely uses the things anyway so i'm really struggling to concentrate on talking to you guys and doing my makeup fast because i need to do it fast before my mom decides to start keeping shining us like her life depends on it so Guys, let me just go. Let me meet you when I'm ready and dressed up and looking all cute and glam. Okay, not really. But yeah, let's just meet when I'm dressed up and yeah, and then we'll continue having this conversation probably after lunch because I probably won't take you guys with me for um, lunch because I'm planning to leave my phone and everything. I'm just going to, you know, have a good time and have conversations with my family. And yeah, so bye. I will see you guys when I'm done. Hi guys, so we actually just got to back home um, from lunch and um, I just thought of shooting this real quick because it needs to be up by 9 a.m. And then, um, so today we wanted to really just talk about um, the journey and where we're going because we've come from really far. Being Wendy has, has been a journey and I'm very excited. So this year we celebrate, I think, three years actually, this year November, I think November 2nd or 5th. We celebrate three years of being on YouTube and almost 4,000 subscribers later and I'm very, very grateful. At first, I felt like I was not moving. I felt like I was stagnated, which is true. And it happens. Sometimes you stagnate, sometimes you don't. However, the problem with um, what was happening in my head was that I was, it gave me a lot of anxiety. I kept checking like who's watching, who's not, um, how, what are my numbers? 
two two hours later only 10 people have watched and i'm like oh my god we used to do so much better i used to do so much better what is happening i need to change i need to do this and it gave me so much stress i stayed up so late looking at the numbers scrolling through instagram and looking at my numbers and i'm like why are my insights so low what is happening and then I, that's when i decided to tell myself you know what Wendy, you need to take a break and um just before that i also look started looking at upcoming youtubers i'm looking through youtube and i'm like i've never seen this person and i look at when they started they started recently and they're way way ahead of me and i'm like what what did i do wrong like what is happening and i sat down and i was really really stressed out like crazy stressed out and i'm like you know what i want to give this thing up i want to give being wendy up and all that so i said before i do anything drastic before i make decisions i will eventually regret because i want to think about things before i um throw myself into stuff so um i said you know what let me take a break let me take two weeks off let me think about my life let me think about my child let me think about you know everything yeah let me see if this is something that i'm willing to keep doing or not and then um i'll i'll know from after exam so i did two weeks off instagram off twitter i'm not even back on twitter as we speak <laughs> off youtube no no content no tiktoks nothing i'd only do tiktoks with my friends or like my, my cousin came over and they wanted to do tiktoks my phone was like let's do it that's the only time i've been doing tiktoks other than that i've, I've been off completely off social media so um i took this time to do a lot of reading for my exams and for myself and um i'm actually reading this book right now it's by sally hell helgeson <laughs> and marshall goldsmith marshall is actually a man it's, it's a really interesting book they um talk about the habits that um, make women not become successful and things that probably you'd have done that worked for you to some level and then you get to a certain level these things don't work anymore so there's a lot yeah it's, it's a really interesting book i'm just at 57 but i'll be done probably by in three days time because it's really really short and i like to do like 100 pages per night so tonight i'll go up maybe 147 150 and then the next day i'll finish but anyway that's not important <laughs> so what i want to talk about mostly is um yeah the anxiety it gave me and then i started going to into conversations on mental health and mostly i was passionate about men's mental health because i feel like this is something that's so vague like why what's happening what's happening to men's mental health but then i got to as i was looking for and i was as i was researching and i was looking for stuff i was actually looking for stuff for my radio show that is uh, on mondays to friday at 9 a.m at 6 to 9 every monday to friday and um it's on our radio so i'll put the link down below so since you're gonna watch this on monday make sure on tuesday you tune in and you guys are gonna have a great time just as i La, i love it i really really enjoy that job um so yeah that's the first thing i wanted to see um so when i was researching about men's mental health something came up and it's the social media and it was actually a ted talk by a certain lady and she was talking about the impact of social media in, in her life and she's um like a social media like a digital uh, marketer something like that so she can't really entirely keep off social media but then she decided one time to take a holiday and not go uh, check her phone like completely not checking your phone and she realized she could like a lot changed about her when she, during that time because we're always so fixed on our phones we want to go on vacation because we so like right now everyone is going to mombasa like literally everyone is going, like even myself like mommy you know everyone is going to coast we need to go we need to go to like masai mara or something because everyone is traveling and if you think about it should we be going on vacation because everyone wants to go or should you go because you feel like you know it's I, I need to reward myself it's exhausting and then um something also realized that i'm not really good with um taking pictures of like places i've gone that's why you rarely find vlogs like i travel but i don't take vlogs because i forget because i'm the type of person to live in the moment and to just enjoy what i'm doing enjoy my people and just love being out so um that's something else i really um struggled with because you know you see people's lives and and you feel like they're doing so much better than you and they're doing so well and there are people who tell me when you're doing so well and i'm like where how i don't see it but everyone else around me is seeing it and i'm like huh so i even started feeling like maybe people are just being kind to me or being nice because they just want me to um feel encouraged or something like that so i decided to say you know what f this and let me switch off everything and i did switch off 
and how was it it was so peaceful i i, I did not miss being online like literally i don't miss it but i was like i need to do this because um one of my really good friends recently he texted me and he told me um i've not been seeing you online what, what's up and i was like i've been feeling so overwhelmed and i don't really feel like going back but um i'll think about it when when i'm done with the exams and everything i'll think about whether i want to get back into youtube and do this whole thing and he texted me something that was very touching and it reminded me my purpose as to why i do what i do and he said um i'm just going to quote unquote paraphrase what he said and he said um wendy i i went off social media because it's not helping me and i'm not helping anyone that's what he said it's not helping me and i'm not helping anyone so my my page is practically useless whether i'm there or not mm, no impact but you wendy you you've helped so many people you've helped so many young ladies and you keep teaching us things and he said i'm not even a dad but i learned so much from you and i think you should if if not for anything this should be the reason why you get back into it and do it and i was like wait a damn minute <laughs> TikTok. but anyway i was like yeah as much as i'm feeling like i'm not growing i'm feeling like i'm stagnating this is why i need to do this because i enjoy the feedback i love talking to you guys you guys have no idea how much fun i have being online with you guys and just respond you guys responding to my post and let's having discussions and i've become friends with so many of you guys and it's it's crazy someone like my really good friends are like i've known them from social media like their moms and it's crazy and it's exciting and like even my, my partner my boyfriend is someone i met on social media and he's a dad so like it's crazy but you see it it does so much good in my life it's only that i need to learn when to tell it okay it's over now we're done like this is a limit i need to put limits on how long i'm online and all that because i don't want it to also get to a point where i'm starting to get anxiety and i'm starting to get a lot of stress because of um comparing my journey to everyone else's and um this break has really taught me that that i'm doing well either way like i feel like i'm really doing well and i'm so proud of myself for the far that i have come and i cannot wait to see where this channel will take me henceforth i am so excited and then something else i wanted to do before i um move forward with the channel is say that i'm not gonna be fixed in a box so i'm not gonna be so specific about what exactly i'm gonna be posting i'm gonna be posting things that i love whether this channel grows or not i know it's gonna be impacting three five people and you know what i've decided that that's gonna be enough i'm gonna set goals as well but if my aim if god's plan for me was to impact a few people that's gonna that's what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna put too much stress on myself to make it like um what can i say to do things and help people well myself i'm i'm struggling because that's what actually happened before, just recently like i felt like i was doing so much for everyone but i was not getting the same energy back and it hurts and it I was helping people when I'm hurting instead of trying to even look out for myself. So that's something I've also learned to do to protect myself and protect my um headspace as well. So I'm really focusing on being as healthy as possible mentally and physically of course. And then being having my priorities right, my school, and my child always going to be a priority and then everything else falls into place after that and um it's really gonna be exciting it's i'm just so happy <laughs> guys i probably um just do things that i enjoy doing and i don't want to be specifically in a specific like museme who you ni motherhood pekeake before i became a mom i was wendy and wendy is wendy is really loving and she has friends and she loves doing different things she's an adventurous person and that's the kind of person i want to bring out to youtube as well and instagram and tiktok and anywhere any on whatever platforms you guys follow me at so please make sure you follow me on all my platforms i'm gonna post them here and please tune into my radio every monday to friday on all radio i'm gonna put it here at 6 a.m to 9 a.m i know what i'm in the job so please tune in and then um yeah so something else i wanted to tell people i wanted to tell you guys do something you love and um sometimes something you love is not going you're not going to always love it you won't always love doing it because sometimes it gets tired sometimes you know it's pretty stressing 
but then um just l allow your heart to rest or your body allow your body to rest and something I, 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 I okay i did a blog post from i did a blog post on natural glam's blog so i think it will it should be going up today today is sunday so um hopefully it goes up today and then you guys are gonna be able to see it by tomorrow or by the time you guys are watching this so i'm gonna put it down below the details the link to the blog post and you guys will i said that you don't owe mark zuckerberg anything you don't have to be online don't be online to a point it's stressing you out don't be online to a point you're getting depressed because you're thinking you're not doing well in life let me tell you so many people will not post the good things about their lives i mean the bad things about their lives they'll show you the good stuff but like the past few like i've, I've been listening to stories and i'm like wait a minute of course we can't that people can't even competing with let me tell you um I had so much pressure on myself on I'm, I'm 25 i have a child i i'm not my pockets are not as deep <laughs> probably not even deep at all and um my peers are traveling and they're doing stuff and they're doing crazy stuff and i started feeling like i'm not doing enough or i'm not doing anything and that really led me to a really dark place and for me to get out of that place this is now this time i've taken off and i've been looking at different stories and i'm like wait a minute some of these people live there. They're being, their lives are being funded. So, why are you stressing? I can't compete with a man who's really uh, does do what <laughs> you know, or someone you know. It's it's impractical. And I'm not saying I have anything bad against someone whose life is being funded. It's just that it's I cannot compete with that. You cannot even start comparing yourself with someone who's. You know, like, it's very important to know where you're from and where you're going. And that's something I, I, I forgot for a minute. And, you know, the process. The process is very, very, very important. So please, guys, remember to trust the process and remember to work hard for yourself. And if you feel like books are your thing, I read recently, um, if you're book smart, don't tell street smart people that they're not doing the right thing. And if you're street smart, don't tell book smart people that they're not doing the right thing. Why? Because the goal is to be successful. And that's it. We're all just supposed to be successful and happy. And that's the goal. How you get there, whether it's your books, whether it's street smart, whatever it is, work hard and, you know, get at it. If you're a hard, hard worker or a smart worker, whatever. It don't matter. There are no rules to this game, by the way, in this life. Everyone is really trying to just wing it. And, um... If you're home, especially for students like me, you're home, you're not doing much, relax. When we get back to school, Nihivi, running, running. And some of us are still like, we're doing on, online classes. So my next semester starts in September. So like literally, there's no time to just sit down and wallow in self-pity. That's something I'm trying to teach myself not to do anymore. Like just sitting down and feeling bad and say, oh, you know, it's real. Mm -mm. Nime kata. Nime? so please thank you so much for tuning in make sure you check out thursday's video at 9 a.m it's gonna be up on youtube as well so um i really love you guys for your constant love and your constant support stay tuned for more content it's gonna be great it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be exciting to learn stuff with you guys while you watch or as i teach sometimes i'm gonna be teaching other times i'm gonna be learning while you guys watch me learn and maybe something you can take up i mean this life up a rules at a YouTube behind a rules. We do whatever we want the way we want because guess what? It's my space. And um yeah, basically I don't really want to go beyond. I've talked so long. So I don't really want to go beyond that as much. I need to um clean my face and I need to take care of myself right now. I need to read a bit and probably I don't know, look at check up on Dinah because she, she's been feeling very tired and very sleepy so I want to just make sure she's not gonna sleep until night time but anyway other than that thanks so much for tuning in make sure you like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yes and we'll be back in the next video so before I leave this is actually a broke avenue bag I'm gonna put her details please follow her on Instagram she's really good like her bags are really really great and I'm gonna do like 
my favorite Kenyan brands. So, um, oh, this is Maasai Market. This is actually LTY Kiki. They were having a sale at, I went to their Junction branch. So I got this dress. I'm gonna show you probably, I took a picture for Instagram. So I'm gonna show you the full picture here. And I hope you guys are gonna, I don't know, love it or something, whatever. <laughs> He's just gonna show you the brand, it's not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, thank you so much for being here. And let's just say goodbye, and then we'll see each other on Thursday, same time, same place. And yeah, bye.